Hello guys, welcome to another video brought to you by Open School Sfax Tunisia. Today's video is on Tarzagwen. It's the first eco-friendly farmhouse in Tunisia, which opened back in 2006, and it's definitely a place worth visiting. If you are interested, please continue watching this video. As you enter, you get a real feel of a life from days gone by. You can see old carts scattered here and there, used in a time before modern machinery. You can try a traditional snack of sweet or savoury malawi, which is prepared on the spot over the fire. Darzagwen also produces kakwarka, a delicious handmade sweet from the region, made using flour, icing sugar, butter and ground almonds. The addition of rose water is what makes the flavour really unique and by far the best in Tunisia. They definitely make a good souvenir for family and friends. Darzagwen is also the perfect spot for families. With its large green open spaces and fresh clean air, you can really get to appreciate the natural beauty of the area and enjoy outdoor activities. There you can spend unforgettable summer days in the heart of the Tunisian countryside. As you walk further, you can listen to some traditional Tunisian music and see a variety of different trees and plants growing all around. There are so many different artefacts displayed on the ground which reflect a historical era of the country. And the more you walk around, the more amazing artefacts you see. Darzagwen is a great place for people who want to have fun with their friends and family. Try your hand at target shooting or archery and escape from your daily stresses by challenging your friends to a competition. See some traditional farmyard animals in not so traditional colors like this electric pink chick. This is a traditional restaurant where you can sample a range of local dishes as well as organic and vegetarian cuisine which the restaurant is known for. There is also a traditional place of worship which has been used for generations and it is open for the public. For old-fashioned car enthusiasts, the hotel displays a collection of cars dating back to the 50s and 60s. The hotel is not only ecological, but also a great place to go if you want to learn more about Tunisia's rich culture and history. As you can see here in the shop, there are antiques and artifacts dating back to the French occupation and the reign of the first Tunisian president, Habib Bourguiba. As this hotel has always been a working farm, the traditional methods of food production and processing can be found. Here you can see the old stone grinding mill and a range of pickled vegetables including carrots, lemons, cauliflower and olives. This farm still continues to press olives and make excellent quality organic olive oil. This old lady is sitting and picking through the olives to make sure that only the best are used a task traditionally done by hand. Beautifully carved and painted wooden features are mounted around the hotel, dating back to the last century. This medicinal, natural product shop sells a variety of natural skincare products which use organic ingredients to rejuvenate your body. Darzagwen is really a haven of peace and a 
great place to get a taste of traditional Tunisian life rooted in agriculture and the outdoors. When you visit, you will find people sharing their passion with their hosts and trying to make visitors live the history, culture and lifestyle of the country. This is an absolutely breathtaking resort, so go and visit Darzaghwen and experience something unforgettable. Do you want to experience the daily life of old Tunisian culture? If so, then take part in ecotourism. Also referred to as green traveling, sustainable traveling, or environmental and culturally friendly traveling, ecotourism combines the words ecological and tourism, a good mixture. Would you like to combine them both? If so, that I think that ecotourism would suit you. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. We'll be back in a couple of days with another fabulous video as always. I can't wait to see you. Question of the day is, what do you think of such eco-friendly hotels? Bye for now. In this second part of the video, we will try to explain some of the main words and expressions we came across in the first part. The first word is farmhouse, and as you can understand, this is a compound noun made up of two nouns, farm and house, which means that it is a house attached to or on a farm. All such places, like the one we talked about in the video, are said to be worth visiting, which means that they deserve or merit a visit because they are different from all others. Such a place can be called a haven, or we can say a haven of peace. What we mean by this is a place where we can find safety, peace and quiet. On the farm we talked about in the video, we can see many things which are scattered here and there, and this means that they are all over the place or in various places. Imagine what a child's bedroom would look like after the children have played in it. Their toys would be scattered here and there. Also, among the things we can see on the farm are some artifacts, which are old or ancient objects, like the film projector, the old telephone and the old mugs that you can see in this picture on the table in front of the bust of Habib Bourguiba. Many of these things date back to an earlier time in history, like this old cartwheel you can see here. A lot of the things we saw on the video are traditional, like the snack prepared here. A snack is something light you eat between main meals. There are a lot of beautiful spots or places in Tunisia, like this one you can see in the picture. Tbarka, Hamamet, Sous, the south and the desert are just a few examples of such spots. However, if something is made on the spot, like these traditional pastries or the sandwich we saw earlier, it means that it can be made immediately and in front of you. What we can see at this spot, or in this place, is a woman picking through olives, and this means that she is searching through them carefully in order to select the best ones. Some of the spots or scenes we saw on the video can be described as breathtaking, astonishing or fabulous, and they are all worth visiting, as we said earlier. The woman in this picture is knitting a sweater or jumper. She is doing it by hand, so we can say that the sweater or jumper is handmade. And when something is at the center of somewhere, we can say that it's located at the heart of that place. If you look at this map, you will see that Malta is in the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. Speaking of the Mediterranean, we all know that we have to keep it clean and our behavior towards it should be eco-friendly. This means that anything we do has to be good for the environment. 
The environment or other things, including one's face or body, can be rejuvenated or restored to a more youthful or healthier state. And if you ever try to do something for the first time, like riding a motorcycle or climbing a mountain, we can say you are trying your hand at it. And as you do that, trying your hand at something, you may get the feel of that thing, which means that you are becoming familiar with it and you can do it better. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and we hope that you like it as much as we've had the pleasure of making it. We are pleased that our viewers are growing larger in number and this will push us to do our best to make better videos for you. Bye for now.